Location. The Amhara ethnic group are mostly farmers who live in the north-central highlands of Ethiopia. The Amhara displays a mixed physiological heritage. They speak a Semitic language, and historical and linguistic factors, compared with their primary myths of origin, seem to indicate that their Semitic ancestors came from what is modern-day Yemen. History. According to their traditions they trace their roots to Menelik I, the child born of the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon. These oral traditions seem to reflect a historical link to the Sabian. It is thought that the Sabian people began to settle on the west coast of the Red Sea, from their home in southern Arabia, about 1000 BC. Menelik I was the first of the Solomonic line of rulers of Ethiopia that ended only with the deposing of Emperor Hale Selassie in 1974. By about 400 BC their civilization became the Aksum Empire, based on a mixture of the early Sabian culture and the prior Cushitic culture. Aksum ruled the region till in the 900s AD. Identity. The Amhara appear to be descended from the same people group as the Tigray Tigrinya people. Their Sabian ancestors came to the highlands of what is now Eritrea and Ethiopia from the Arabian Peninsula. These Semitic migrants gradually mixed with the Cushitic peoples there. Successive waves of migrations across the Red Sea Straits and around the Horn have enriched the mix of cultural and genetic heritage in the historical period. Language. Amharic, the language of the Amhara, shows its Semitic origin both in its alphabet and words shared with Hebrew and Arabic. Amharic is descended from Gies, a language extinct since the Middle Ages. Gies developed from the original Sabian language, changing through the influence of the non-Semitic languages of the earlier peoples. Customs. Life in Amhara farming society is hard. Many Amhara lives in the harsh and stark mountains, easy to defend, but making it difficult to travel and gain provisions. The men in the fields, the women around the house, and the children at home and watching the sheep all work very hard. Religion. The focal point of Amhara culture is the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church is an ancient indigenous Christian church that began in the 4th century AD. The Ethiopian Orthodox was heavily influenced by Syrian Christianity from its earliest times. Lalabella. Lalabella consists mainly of dispersed settlements that spring from a central node around the churches and spreads out into the surrounding countryside, most of which are not built up due to the nature of the topography. About 80% of the buildings around the churches and in outlying areas are made of earth in different combinations with wood and stone. Bandar is one of the most impressive and largest medieval cities of Ethiopia during the 16th and 17th centuries. Founded in 1635 became the capital of Ethiopia during the reign of Emperor Fasilids, 1632-1667. Served as royal residences with some permanent settlement, their houses placed on the elevated stony site and land less suitable for farming to protect the neighborhood from a flood. This location has additional advantages in relation to the management of cattle, to refuse the traditional peasants. The traditional peasant's home is round with a conical roof supported by a pole that rises at the center. The houses are built of either stone or wood depending on which material is in a particular area. In both building types, the walls are built of stone laid in mud mortar. The interior surfaces of the walls are often plastered with a rich mix of earth, straw, and cow dung. 